All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video, and this time back with a Sealed to Revealed. I picked up this uh, live album. First, I'd seen it shown on uh, Derek Higgins' uh, YouTube channel. He goes by Derek Vaughn. Uh, Derek's been on the VC for quite some time. He's got an extensive uh, catalog, not only of videos, but an amazing music collection and incredible knowledge, vast knowledge of music, and uh, yeah, he has an amazing uh, music collection. So he showed this uh, album recently. Uh, this is a new issue. Uh, but it's a part, I believe, first part of a series of live albums that uh, they're going to be uh, releasing for the band Can or Khan, depending on how you like to pronounce it, a uh, German uh, band. And this is live in Stuttgart, uh, 1975. So this is a live album that hadn't been uh, issued before. Um, I believe this is going to be part of a series. Uh, this is a triple album on vinyl, uh, limited edition, triple orange vinyl on earth recordings of can's legendary 1975 performance curated by ermin schmidt with extensive sleeve notes so there we have it and uh, there's the uh, track listing there now at this time they uh, had uh, just uh, their 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 vocalist from the band uh, a fellow by the name of uh, damo or damo uh, Suzuki had left the band, so this is all instrumental, but uh, they're saying it's really not, it's not jazz instrumental or, or sort of improv, that sort of thing. It is more sort of exploratory, and you can listen to this online. It's definitely uh, available on all your favorite streaming sites, uh, and so I listened to it, absolutely loved it, absolutely loved it. The, the, lo the musicianship is fantastic, and oh, it's so good. As I said, it's a band I've definitely been uh, enjoying getting into with uh, German music, the German cosmic music, whatever you like to call it. So I'll definitely have to try to save the hype sticker on this one. And almost got the shrink off here. Okay, I'll just put that over here. And here we have it. Striking cover. And this is a complete sort of trifold thing, which is pretty cool. There we go. And there you have it. Very cool. So again, they, you know, their their vocalists had just left the band, but uh, with this, they're doing completely uh, instrumental, exploratory music. And I always find it fascinating. Um, it would have been interesting if the band Genesis had just tried that after Peter Gabriel left, instead of maybe Phil Collins uh, taking the vocals right away. And they even had suggested that, I think it was Phil who had suggested, well, maybe we should just, you know, be an uh, instrumental band. Of course, that idea was shot down. But I always thought, would have thought it would have been interesting if they would have just maybe even tried it and just see what happened. Maybe not long term, but... Uh, so here you have the uh, track listing. But yeah, just a striking uh, trifold there. And we'll take a look at the uh, booklet in just a bit. The booklet doesn't look too, too extensive. And quite simply, these types of... I uh, guess there's a little... <laughs> and an orange vinyl. So there you go. Very cool. So that's the one. Maybe I'll just put that over here for now. And uh, quite simply like that. And there's the Okay, and this one's almost got a sort of a almost a wisp of kind of color in it almost. Okay, there's that. Which is a little bit of black coloring there. And then finally, okay, and maybe there was, a, uh, there was maybe a slight uh, coloring issue with that uh, second record. And here we have it side E and F. So I wonder actually for that, because uh, the other one's a pretty striking uh, striking orange, but uh, for this one, there seems to be just a little bit of the sort of black vinyl behind it. So interesting. I don't know. See, see that? It's almost like the coloring didn't quite completely take. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I don't know the process of coloring uh, albums or in terms of uh, colored vinyl, how that all works, but uh, there you have it. So let's take a look at uh, the booklet. And it looks a pretty, <laughs> not, uh, not too extensive here, but we have that. And then we just got a nice right up here. Oops. And then this like that. 
And so, yeah, again, you can listen to it online if you want to do a little preview there, but very, very cool. Now, I did pick up the uh, the CD as well. Uh, I don't always do that. I do that sometimes when it's something I really uh, know I'm going to enjoy. Uh, so yeah, I did pick up the CD as well. So let's uh, take a look at that and compare. And this uh, has pretty much the same type of hype sticker, a very large hype sticker for the CD, uh, saying can live on Earth recordings. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same, extensive sleeve notes, that sort of thing. Okay. Almost got the shrink off here. And this will be, although again, it's three albums, it's just one CD. I believe, no, sorry, two CDs. Sorry about that, two CDs. As you can see, the CDs <laughs> there. Okay, and there's that. Very nice. Okay. And there is that. Very cool. Very cool, and it's kind of neat, actually. I don't know if you'd be able to see this. I'll, We'll take a look at the uh, booklet in just a bit, but I uh, don't know if you can slightly see in the background on this. On, it's mainly on the CD ones, not where the uh, the booklet is held, but you can just catch a little bit more artwork uh, in the back there, the the bugs, just like that. I, that's that's cute. I like that. That's that's neat. And again, this will be sort of the smaller version of the booklet. Uh, it's a lot more pages uh, for this booklet, so I don't know, I'm, I wouldn't think that there's more uh, for this booklet, but hard to say. I would imagine it's just the same, just on a smaller scale. And there we have that. Now, uh, so I'm really going to be enjoying that. Uh, it would be fantastic to listen to the vinyl. Uh, and in terms of picking this up initially, I didn't know uh, that the vinyl version does come with a download uh, code. And sometimes with downloads, um, I mean, I like the idea of downloads, but often they're MP3s. I know they're not always MP3s, but I'm not a fan of MP3s. So in terms of that, I'd rather have the CD or even like when Steve Hackett uh, for his last album released the vinyl uh, with CD, which is, was quite nice. But I believe uh, the code is here. So I won't be using this code. Uh, so hopefully uh, if this uh, focus is okay, uh, feel free to whoever comes by first uh, to enjoy the promo code so you can uh, download your copy of Live in Stuttgart. 1975. So hopefully you can get that in. So again, uh, thanks so much uh, for dropping by and uh, do take care. And of course, we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.